Hello, everybody. Herbal supplements for migraine. Is that a thing? Short story, no. Here's why. There are two main herbs that have been studied for migraine, feverfew and butterbur. Let's start with feverfew because a lot more people take that. So feverfew has been around forever. I mean, back in the day, people used it to literally reduce fever, hence the name. It's an anti-inflammatory, just like many of our modern day over-the-counters. So it does give some relief to some people, but when we look at the studies overall, the benefit is actually pretty mild. So there was a study published in 2020. It was a review of six other studies. And they basically said, okay, take fever few every day. The usual dose is 50 to 100 milligrams a day and tell us how much your migraines change. On average, people went from having 10 headache days a month down to like nine. Not a huge benefit. Okay, it's real. And if you're one of the responders, go for it, unless you're pregnant. If you're pregnant, definitely do not take favor of you. And here's why. Um, one of the ways it works for migraine is that it has effects on our blood vessels. And unfortunately, it can cause uterine contractions and miscarriage. So please, if there is any chance at all that you could get pregnant, stay away from fever few, okay? Not the drug for you. I know we have a tendency to think that herbs are safer for us, especially when we're pregnant, but in this case, that is not the case, all right? So butter burr. Now I gotta admit, I'm not a fan of butter burr, and here's why. There have been about a dozen cases of liver failure requiring transplants from the use of butter burr. Now, what they did is they took the thing in the butter burr that was causing the liver problems. They are called pyrolizidine alkaloids, PA. They took that out of the butter burr to make it safe. And it is a lot safer now for sure. And there are good randomized controlled trials showing that it has a benefit. But unfortunately, people have done independent analyses of these PA-free forms of butter burr, and the PA is still in it. So I don't know, migraine, liver transplant, I don't know. For me, it just doesn't, no, I wouldn't go there. So there are a lot of other things that we can do to reduce headaches naturally, and they tend to fall in the realm of supporting the biochemical pathways within the body. But as far as these two herbal supplements, we don't have great solutions that are coming to us from the plant world. Hope that helps everybody. Take care.